Hi guys, I'm Marcello. Welcome to a new gameplay video. Today we take a look at Tainted Grail. But before starting the gameplay, just a little news. Finally, I have a new mouse and keyboard. So you will not hear any more those annoying clicks during the gameplay. Okay? Let's go back to the game. Tainted Grail is a turn based RPG game but based on the board game and we have two two mode two gameplay mode we have tented gray campaign player on three hour of the campaign the full campaign will be available at full launch in the future and then we have the conquest mode play endless roguelite RPG mode a mode for hardcore, hardcore players slay beasts, develop your village and create amazing combination of skills, cards and items with every run die often, learn, repeat until you succeed let's try the conquest then you will let me know if you want to take a look at the campaign ok let's see skip animation, no privacy audio graphic quality I want to try to take at least the high mode let's see if my computer will handle it character creation let's create a male skin color Um, we have four combination for now. Hmm. I like it. Great. King Arthur promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth in treacherous mists. Those few who manage to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough. For a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then nothingness, as reality melted around us. I returned alone, back at the feet of the statue. The people all vanished without a trace. I soon learned I wasn't the only one to return. Others survived out there too. Lost among the ever-changing mists far from the statue. Haunted by a creature never before witnessed. It seems coming to this island was a grave mistake. Avalon was not ours. This is another version of King Arthur story. Lately there's a lot of games about it. Okay, here we are, class and rooms. 
we have warrior okay for now we only have the warrior and we have the brawler guardian and berserker high risk high reward run gaining more power the less hp you have guardian energy efficient rune focusing on sequencing cards into advanced combos and brawler rune focusing on heavy damage towards single opponents let's go for the bro for the brawler okay here we are I can move the character with the keyboards and also with the click of the mouse. Right now this building is just a ruin, however during your travels you might find someone who would be willing to settle in here and help you in your quest. Okay, are only ruins now. This is the statue. Lost soul. Where your home down once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. It's not my farm home, is it? I'm from up north, the land of fog, and this mist was all wrong. Have you seen the others? They were right next to me. I, I don't know what happened. Buy supplies, meditate and forget skills. No, let's live for now. This is a milestone. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor that they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain like moths to the flame. Carve your name into the milestone, light a wired candle to boost the milestone range. I hope later they, they tell us something more. Um, here we have the, the quests. Side quests. There's a path leading out of a village, a path that ends with creatures spun out of pure weirdness. A three beasts to slay. Each one will open a path leading to another. Your village is in ruins, but there are there are out in the wilderness are people who would be glad to join you in exchange for a safe space to live in. Find them, recruit them, and it's certain that they be of great use during your journey. Uh, okay, side quest and conquest. I've return alone the building, the people are all gone without a trace. I soon learned I wasn't the only one to come back. Okay, let's start by uh, accept some side quests. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, on on the upper right here, I have the map. I can zoom in, zoom out, and it tracks me. It helps me tracks the the quest. You walk into wildness, a truly dangerous environment. Combat encounters in wildness will be much harder but can be more profitable. Other interaction on the map can be a little bit different too. Okay. If you have a wire candle in your quick slot, you can click on it to repel the wildness. You can add items to quick slot in your inventory. Same goes for the combat items. Remember to set them before going to, to, into combat. You only have four slots for consumable during combat, and they can make a difference between life and death. Okay, this is the character screen, character sheet. Okay. 
Okay, white. Allow you to break whiteness without any repercussion. Wow. Require one health. Carve your name. Carving your name among the rune already covering the stone bind in front of your soul tree. You can travel between any milestone you've marked this way. Ah, okay, he's a, a fast traveler. Okay. Let's continue here. I see a skull, a red skull on the map, and this is a battle. Combat in Danger Grid is team based and you are the one who strike first. Each move you make costs energy. After it runs out, you need to manually end your turn. Okay. The number in the upper left corner of your card is their energy cost. The name above the description is their type. Skills which you will unlock later sometimes require certain card types. Okay. Remember to add items you want to use in combat. Okay, you said already. While creating your character, you also pick a day rune. All runes have their passive bonuses and ultimates. Charge your rune during combat and use its power to your advantage. However, on enemies, ah, hover on enemies to see the description. Knowing their behavior is crucial. Some enemies are immune to stuns, etc. Always pay attention to enemy intents. These icons explain what they intend to do during their turn. This is where you'll see the current armor value of your enemy. Armor is the number of damage reduction. 60% of armor means you'll be attacking for 60 more damage. Okay, okay. Last but not least, pay attention to icons appearing under the enemy's health bar. They can give you a lot of valuable information. Okay, hmm. you can see from above. Uh, we have energy used to play skills. Current energy tree. Okay, this are all my cards. Um, below, enemies preparing for a special attack, dealing damage, and dealing damage. Okay. Core reinforcement. Um, let's start. Yeah. Great victory. We get HP and coins and crafting components. Show this to a component blacksmith. Claim all. Okay, let's go. Pick a new card, draw two cards. This turn plus 50 armor. Let's take this. Pick a new card, get plus. Wow. This is good. Pick a new passive skill. Blocking expert block list lasts for two turns if not used. Confident priests. There are all customs that protect the 
custom that protects the charming priest of the Almada, the one you see before you, walking through the wilderness at, at a brisk, confident pace, doesn't seem to realize or care that this protection is not likely to extend here. As to be healed? Raise the mother. I'm sorry. Inquire further. Affect Picard. She doesn't seem to be busy. Uh, Ever since we landed on Avalon, I've seen so much evil. Men killing each other for a slice of bread. Parents drowning their children so that their cries don't draw a weird spawn. It's, it's so hard to believe the mother still watches over us. I want to settle this once and for all. If all mother is still with us, she will protect me. If not, I'd rather die anyway. Now let me be on my way, Emmy. Added cards, heal back to food, accept. Uh huh, let's proceed here. A new milestone? Okay. Uh. Ah, okay, here near the milestone we we are safe. We are safe from the wilderness. Group, weak group. Let's attack this group. Reach six to make enemy vulnerable. Okay. Heal back. Apply the buff. After incoming damage, he get more damage. Combo max vulnerability. Your deck has been infected with obsolete cards. Okay. We can stun the enemy. Yes. Tries to heal himself. Okay. Tom of Knowledge, draw two cards. Claymore. I think I need to heal, heal up, yes, enemies preparing for a special attack, let's attack then.
enemy intent is unknown. Okay. They hit harder. They hit very harder. Pick a new card. Damage five seven per two. Targets all enemies. Damage forty. Discard your hand. Duplicate next card played. Let's go for this one. Pick a new passive skill. That was warm up on every fifty card play. No, whenever you play two or less, cleaving. Healing potion, I can use it here. Yes. One well, one weapon is in hand. One weapon on his back. This strikes you as a bit excessive unless he is a traveling weaponsman. The blood covering his leather jerking is not his. A good sign that means he can take care of himself. Wealth. Learn Mark One card is always in first hand. Wanna see the character panel? Where are those passive skills? I don't know. Let's continue, a new milestone. Oh my god. For most, death is fine. A place from which they will never return. For some, it is a place of eternal torment from which they come back as monsters. You, on the other hand, find yourself in a desolate and peaceful land lit only by the cold glow of stars. <laughs> Congratulations.
you feel a strange force around you push you on try again start over exit game pick your starting blessing start with six more healing potions start with a random consumable start with four more white candles start with a random consumable healing potion <laughs> 